I'd like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to meet me for lunch. I appreciate your willingness to discuss the challenges that your company is currently facing. If you don't mind, I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss what we've been seeing in the marketplace. First, I want to write down three companies that I'm sure you've heard of. The first one is Kodak. The second one is Blockbuster. And the third one is Borders. You might ask yourself, what do these three companies have in common? Well, each of these companies was a market leader in their industry. Each of these companies were guilty of not making or not being willing to make the shift in the consumption model for their products. Let's take Blockbuster, for example. I have three children, ages of 18, 13, and 10. And when we go rent a movie, we, they, they go to either Redbox or we download it on Netflix. My 10-year-old couldn't even tell you who Blockbuster was. My 13-year-old might be able to tell you just because we had a Blockbuster on the corner, but a few years ago it did close down. So he might remember who they were. Ultimately, these companies failed to adapt their business model, and in time, the companies were rendered irrelevant and obsolete. Right now, we are seeing the same changes in your market space. Now, let's take a look on the consumption model for business technologies and how they are changing and the impact these shifts are having on bars like you. Traditionally, the value chain has been a linear model. You have sold servers, hardware, and software to your customers, primarily on-premise and through a transactional sales model. And in this model, your primary buyer has been the CIO. Now this has worked out very well for you and has been very profitable for your company. However, this environment is changing and VARs are being pushed out of the market space. Now let's take a second and look at your competitors. Traditionally, your competitors were going after your clients and in return you were also going after their clients. However, some of your competitors have started making a change and they're making the transition by creating value through consulting and services. In fact, recent studies have said that in the next three years, IT hardware vendors will be forced to adapt a cloud-first strategy where 25 to 30 percent of their server shipments will go to the data centers that are managed by service providers and grow into 43 percent by 2017. As the market for equipment and gear continues to collapse, your total market opportunity is dwindling, just like what happened to the three companies listed above. In fact, 10% of your peers have invested in consulting capabilities, and this move is generating a 44% margin increase. This is a very real and present threat to your customer base, but the good news is there's, this also represents a tremendous opportunity for you. Another challenge that you're facing is the traditional buyer is, being deep, is the depositioning of the CIO role. CIO roles are rapidly becoming less relevant. This is happening for two reasons. First, technology is changing. As more workloads are being deployed to the cloud, security is moving from a physical environment to a virtualized environment, and application and servers are being virtualized. Second, the buying power is shifting. The line of business executives, such as the CFOs and the CMOs, are now taking ownership of buying decisions, which jeopardizes your traditional customer relationship. And I just want to give you a quick example. I have a friend who owns a medium-sized trucking company. And for about the last 12 years, he used one of your competitors who happened to be a business partner of CenturyLink. And over the last 15 years, he's used this model right here. A few months ago, another company came in and started talking to them about cloud. And one day, I got a phone call from my friend saying, Ronnie, we're moving to the cloud. 
The point is, the company who had them for 15 years lost that relationship because they did not adapt and they were still going along the traditional selling style and did not adapt to new technology. Overall, these dynamics are shrinking your market opportunity and is creating uncertainty with your customers. To address these market challenges, a new approach is needed. You got to get ahead of this market shift and reinvent your value in the value chain. To do this, you need to establish the right expertise. Some of your competitors have already done that. They have either had someone on staff with the expertise or they went out and they hired someone with the expertise. The same change needs to happen with you. The second is you need a comprehensive suite of solutions that you can integrate and customize for each unique customer environment. Only CenturyLink has worked for a decade to assemble a ready-made model to enable you to execute on this transformation. You have the critical support and comprehensive solutions you need to increase your market share and capitalize on previously untapped revenue streams. What we are seeing currently in the marketplace on the VARs who have made the switch, they are going to the customer discussing cloud, virtualizing security, virtualizing servers and applications. Companies are either already talking about this or it is on their roadmap. By doing this, these products and services will bring in the traditional network that you have already been selling with CenturyLink. And we appreciate that. But by bringing in these services, it will automatically tie in the tr more traditional type network. And what this will do is allow you to take advantage of the 3.8 trillion IT service market that is projected to grow by 133 billion per year. What I would like to do is set up a meeting for next Tuesday to discuss this further with you. Does that work for you?